Most of the world's honey has pesticides in it. Are you getting enough insecticides in your daily diet? Well, looks like honey is a sweet source for it. Neonicotinoid pesticides are showing up in honey on every continent with honeybees. Around 200 samples of honey were tested, and 75% were found to contain measurable levels of at least one of the five common neonicotinoids. The insecticide works by targeting crop-destroying insects' central nervous system. A number of studies have also found that the insecticide reduces and weakens honeybee hives. Pesticide levels vary between regions. In North America, 86% of samples contain pesticides. Asia, 80%. Europe, 79%, Africa, 73%, the Australian region, 71%, and South America, 57%. Bees and other pollinators are necessary to three-quarters of the world's food crops, but have been declining in number in recent decades. Destruction of wild habitats, disease, and massive pesticide use are all contributing factors. Sorry to bug you, but keep watching. Swarm of flying cockroaches descends on New York City. The summer weather always brings a buzz around New York, but this year's scorching hot temperatures are attracting more than just fun-loving humans. With 90-degree humidity cloaking the city, American cockroaches are spreading their wings. When the heat turns up, the cockroaches move around a lot more to keep cool. Moisture leaves their bodies and frees up a second pair of wings that typically aren't activated. The cockroaches don't actually fly, though. To put it more accurately, they glide, descending from above one city block at a time. To the people on the ground below, it's hardly a welcome development. However it is that they're getting around, most New Yorkers still hate them all the same. Ah, the pitfalls of a city littered with refuse. Roach in your ear? Don't spray it like this guy did. A man in Chengdu, China, decided to take matters into his own hands when a cockroach got stuck in his ear. The 60-year-old man, surnamed Lee, was enjoying a good night's sleep when his slumber was disrupted by a sudden pain in his head. Suspecting a bug might be in his ear, Lee tried removing the critter with a toothpick, then tweezers, before shaking his head violently from side to side. None of which worked. <laughs> Lee then sprayed pesticide into his ear, which killed the roach, but caused his ear canal to swell up. What's more, the roach remained stuck in his ear. After putting up with the pain for three days, Lee finally went to the hospital where a doctor removed the one centimeter long cockroach from his ear canal. The doctor later advised that anyone facing the same problem as Mr. Lee should try pouring mineral oil into their ear to flush out the bug. Dog goes to bed to treat mouth full of ladybugs. It's a ladybug infestation like you've never seen. A dog in Hoisington, Kansas, who's known for having a passion for biting bugs, finally got bit back. Over the past few weeks, Bailey the dog's nap schedule had been excessive, sleeping much more than usual. When it came time to eat, her owner noticed she wasn't interested in her food and was skipping meals. The owner became alarmed when she noticed Bailey had begun foaming at the mouth. Concerned, she took Bailey to the vet and what they discovered was unfathomable. 30 to 40 orange ladybugs, or more accurately referred to as Asian lady beetles, were hanging off the roof of the dog's mouth. The Asian lady beetles pack a painful bite, which can cause ulcers on a dog's tongue and mouth if left unchecked. The veterinarian says if found, pet owners can solve the problem by picking them off one by one. But make sure not to squish them, because they produce a powerful stench and yellow secretion if crushed. The Asian lady beetles have made their presence felt across Kansas recently, because one of their main food sources, sugarcane aphids, have sprung up in large numbers. Their population swell has led to many dogs in the region being brought in with the same oral affliction. Luckily, Bailey's health is back up to speed, and while she's still chasing bugs, Hopefully, she's figured out which ones she probably shouldn't mess with. Dragonflies can be used to spy on you. Scientists have created a technology that can turn flying insects into surveillance drones. The technology makes use of a tiny backpack equipped with solar power and navigation systems. The backpack is fitted onto a dragonfly and commands the insect with optogenetics a biological technique that uses light to control the steering neurons inside the insect's nerve cord. 
Dragonflies can then be turned into tiny surveillance systems. The same setup can be applied to other insects of a similar size, such as honeybees. Other applications of this technology may include guided pollination, payload delivery, and precision medicine and diagnostics.